Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. I hope you're all doing fantastic and that you're all having an absolutely incredible day. Leaving a like or commenting or subscribing, it helps out the algorithm immensely and boosts up my rankings on YouTube. I'm trying to get your attention. Welcome back. To another, the rich people are buying everything and a lot of people are not paying attention to the fact that the rich people are going to own everything on this planet. News segment, I don't know how to really do that. If you follow the channel for a while, I've had the channel for a while, very often we tend to have videos of this institution, this bank, this country, uh-huh, yeah, countries as well, this corporation, this entity, doesn't really matter that they're buying huge amounts of Bitcoin. And I make sure to make these videos because a lot of times people don't pay attention to it. A lot of times people love the news that prices are going up, but usually fall short of finding the news as to why the price rose. The people who are in the cryptocurrency space who usually before told us that they weren't in the cryptocurrency space, but they were secretly, right, buying up tons of Bitcoin. This happens all the time. I have a whole series on all these videos and I usually title them something along the lines of like rich people buying up all the Bitcoin because it keeps happening over and over and over and over and over and anyway, today, B-N-Y Mellon, that is the letters B-N-Y and M-E-L-L-O-N, the oldest bank in the United States, announced that next to stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, they will also begin to hold, say it with me, Bitcoin. Yeah, this keeps happening over and over and over. Um, I want you to all understand that at least in my view, uh, cryptocurrencies are no longer speculative. The entire idea of a speculative asset has always been that it's only for nerds, it's only for people on the fringe of society, not many people are using it. Who, Bitcoin? I've never heard of such a thing. Who would actually have that? We know that there are banks, many banks, if you've never heard before, even for the, uh, this is side topic, it's called the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. Look at all the companies and banks who are into Ethereum. We've had countless banks and countless hedge funds, and now we also have countries as well who are announcing that they are holding Bitcoin, that they are buying Bitcoin, that they are, yes, mining Bitcoin as well. And a number of countries currently under US sanctions are now also using Bitcoin as a payment method as well. There's at least one person out there who did not know that. I'm glad that I gave you that information. You can definitely Google it. Type in like countries using Bitcoin. You'll find it. I'll even give you a number because one of them a couple of months ago uh, used $10 million worth of Bitcoin uh, for an actual trade between them and another country. BNY Mellon currently is custodying $43 trillion with a T worth of wealth. And this comes after the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, Fidelity, and BlackRock, the largest institution on the entirety of the planet, announced that they all are into Bitcoin. Two of them announcing that they believe that Bitcoin could be the one world reserve currency, as it were. And the other one's basically also stating that they think that Bitcoin is here to stay and has a very, very bright future. This also gets us into the idea of where Bitcoin's price will be by the time we're in 2028. And also 2032 is meant to be the most ridiculous year for Bitcoin, at least that we have price-wise. If you look at many people's price prediction charts for Bitcoin, you usually get to around either half a million, a million, or $10 million per Bitcoin in 10 years. Yeah, uh, very quick video. Just thought I'd fill everyone in. Uh, this is very important news. This isn't anything, this is no longer a, uh, there's a person, one singular, who happened to purchase $5 million of Bitcoin. We know that there are multiple companies on the planet who own over 100,000 Bitcoin. Just that one company. And we tend to usually hear, like the news was that BNY Mellon is the oldest bank in the United States. And therefore, they're getting you know, the entirety of the popularity of the news. 
What about the other banks who are maybe only buying $10 million worth of Bitcoin or maybe only have 400 Bitcoin? It all adds up. We are going to get to a point where we are going to. This isn't a, you know, oh, I hope, I wish one day. No, we are going to get to a point in the future within less than 10 years where all the Bitcoin that could have been gotten by normal people is going to be only used by and held by the richest people on the planet. One of the reasons for making my other channel is to let people know that all this stuff was going on. It's a news channel. I want people to constantly be informed so that no one can ever say, well, I wish I had known that. No, I give you the news every single day so you understand exactly who's buying it, why they're buying it, where they expect the price to go. And in the future, when there's barely any Bitcoin left, I think it's gonna take us another six years, another two halvings, uh, for 99% of all the Bitcoin that will ever be created to have been created. And then it will take another 100 years for the last 1%. That's where we get these crazy price numbers from. Imagine if we get to those numbers and the only people who control all the Bitcoin wealth are once again the already wealthy people on the planet. I want normal people to also share in the wealth. It's pointless for the rich people to always be excessively wealthy and no one else gets to join in the party as well. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope that you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, liking, or subscribing or supporting in your own way. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.